a gifted singer, a versatile host, and a very promising talent that you often see on YouTube, this person is now also a radio DJ on 987. Her name is Jia Hui, but please call her Chao unless you are her mother. So Chao has been renting a flat since 2021, but here's the catch. She only spent a few hundred dollars on her decoration, not a single cent more. She's a proud second-hand shopper, and honestly, I can learn a thing or two from that. Hi! Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> It's okay. good to see you again. So good to see you too. Agent household, I must remove my shoes first. Of course. Huh? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so this is a, a nice shoe cabinet mm -hmm. and just random things that I kind of put on top to make it look neat and nice. So the way I keep my house neat is I just stuff things into drawers. Over here, just... TV that we never use. It's my housemate's TV. I've been telling her that I don't mm. want it, but she's like, mm, it's hers. Keep it. Okay. Yeah. Shall we take a seat? Well, this is a very nice sofa. Yeah. This looks expensive. Uh, you would think that some things are more expensive than they actually are because a lot of them are mm. secondhand pieces. Including this sofa? This sofa is secondhand also. Can I guess the price? You can. So it looks a little bit like a diner chair. But you said you spent a few hundred dollars on decor, right? So I'm guessing this one maybe 100? Bingo! It's $100! Yeah. $115. Oh. And I only bought it two weeks ago because I finally <laughs> decided that, you know what, I deserve something more expensive. <laughs> I have worked hard. So I bought myself an expensive sofa. Oh my god, am I the first friend on this sofa? Of course not. <laughs> But how much do you spend on rental? 3.5. 3.5? And 3 .5 that's be rent. evenly between you and your housemate? No, because she only takes one room and I take two rooms. So I pay a bit more. Is it easy staying with a housemate? Have you guys been staying together since you rented this place in 2021? I actually used to have two housemates. Oh. And one of them, he has uh, moved back home because he wanted to save money when the rent went up. But when you first moved into this space, was it like fully furnished or did you have to do a lot of the decoration yourself? I would say it was very minimally furnished mm -hmm. with ugly furniture. Uh, I hope your landlord is not watching this episode. I don't think he's very tech savvy. I'm not oh, sure. No. <laughs> when you're staying in a rental, you can't do things like paint. You can't mm -hmm. do things like wallpaper. So I did uh, the next best thing and I treated this like a dorm room. I just plastered the wall with random posters, pictures, prints and miscellaneous decor that I found along the way. Let's go have a look. It's a little bit like a trinket wall, I would say. Really put together random things I picked up along the way. Where do you find these things even? Okay, so this, my friends are photographers and my housemate got this from them. Yeah! <laughs> so when my housemate <gasps> left, he left behind some random pieces mm. of decor on his wall. So I used that here and we will remember him forever. Aww. You know, what's my favourite part of this wall? Yeah. Is this fancy a cappuccino November. Yeah. <laughs> I put the calendar on the wall so that we can basically kind of watch the whole year go by. Mm -hmm. This That's is for 2024. 2024? Oh. Yeah. This table mm -hmm. was a carousel piece. Mm. Guess the price. Oh. There'll be a lot of guessing the price today. 55. Huh? I paid like 10. <gasps> Which is already a lot in my opinion. $10 for a table is a yes. lot? Let me explain. So when you're shopping for second-hand furniture on carousel, many times you look out for people who are moving homes. Mm. And when they are moving out of their place, they try to get rid of things as quickly as possible. So they often give the furniture away for free. And then how did they get this sent to your place? Every time I do this, I question myself. But uh, sometimes I will arrange several furniture pickups in a day and I'll rent a van for a couple hours. It honestly can come up to only about like $20 to rent a van. Mm. Mm, okay. And uh, I will basically drive around and pick it up. Pick everything up one by one and mm. have a friend help me out. And it's so tiring all the time. But I still do it anyway. Okay, la, but all for a ten dollars yes. table, uh, right? The chairs, guess the price. The Four chairs. of them together. Same set. They came separately. They came separately. Mm. 20 bucks for four. Zero! <laughs> you keep surprising me, you know. <laughs> the real reason why I'm very uh, strong for secondhand shopping. I want to kind of extend the lifespan of every single thing that I have. And they can be used for a long time. I think Hey is calling for us to move to the next room. Shall we do that? Let's go! Yeah. Okay, so I gotta give you a heads up. Because um, I've got one room that's still a big mess. Let me see it. Okay, show I'll, me. I'll show it to you anyway, okay? <laughs> And this is the messiest room in the house so far. So we're gonna do a very quick tour, okay? Come! 
Hey, it's honestly not that bad, babe. Really? But can you please enlighten me? How can you ever sit on this chair? I can explain. Hey, stop looking at my underwear. Can I <laughs> Basically, um, I was hanging my laundry out to dry mm -hmm. this morning mm. and I knew you guys were coming over. I panicked, I grabbed everything and I dumped it on my chair. And I also feel like the chair, right, is the place where most things go when you don't know where to put them. It's not wrong. That's why I got two. One to put things, one the to other sit. to sit. But there's gonna be one point in time where this is not enough, where this is not enough and then you have to end up putting your stuff here as well. We cross, <laughs> we cross the bridge when we get there. Yeah. Okay, and let me take a good look at your table. Can you please explain what this is? Aiyah! <laughs> what is that, Chow? Cookie bag! <laughs> and it's still here because... You see, not everything in life has an explanation. <laughs> you know what? This should be a, a relic. Uh, it was from my first live show on radio. Oh, okay. Fair? Good reason to keep it. But do you see the oil that's like sipping into the bag here? Okay, I throw away. Yeah. Okay, we move on, we move on. <laughs> this is all the space there is in this room really. It's a small room. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Skedaddle! Okay, we go to my favourite room. This is uh, my favourite room! Also where I sleep. Wow! Okay, tell me, in your room, what is from Carousel? Okay, we start in this corner. Now okay. this, this is a shoe cabinet. Oh. This was from Carousel. Can I see? Yes. Guess the price, guess the price. Okay, I'm guessing 35 bucks. <laughs> yeah. You're very good at this, eh? It's, it's actual carousel tips, secondhand shopping. All right. Okay, so that's from carousel. So this uh, this table, carousel. It's free. my vanity. You know what? You're getting the hang of it. Yeah. You're right. It's free. It's free. <laughs> Looks a little vintage. You can pull the drawer out. Mm -hmm. I've never had a vanity like this before. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this piece for free, I grabbed it. But the catch about secondhand furniture is sometimes they may come a bit crusty. But you clean it up. If you need to paint anything over, paint over, and it can look very good and fresh. I recognise this piece actually, it's in oh. one of your IG reels where really? you were talking about oh. styling for Christmas. Yes! Wow! How do you know that? That's crazy memory! It's supportive. Yeah, yeah. oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> I, I use things for a long time, so yeah. I think I've used this since I was probably around 19, uh, almost 10 years now. Wow. Like, and then this is the rack, right, that is too clean to wash, too dirty to put back in the oh, shelf. Oh, I know. So yeah. like, you have worn these pieces for like maybe yeah. a day, a half day. a day. Yeah. Okay, this one? This was a carousel one. Yes, I actually initially used this in my kitchen and I was trying to find a set of drawers to put here but in the interim, so this is temporary. My space is always changing. Temporary. Okay, what about that side of the room? That side. <laughs> This uh, wall is like a wall of kind of like disappearing people because a lot of people <gasps> who are in the pictures here, right, they are not in my life anymore. Wow! Yeah. And I think I'm trying to appreciate that sometimes people are just um, a part of a season of your life mm. and not really throughout. Mm. And that's kind of how the world works. And Aww, we, we gotta let me be give like, you a hug. okay with that, you know? Okay, like, my ex is actually there. <laughs> Which one? Which one is your ex? I'm not gonna show ah! you! It's more for his privacy, I just respect oh, that. But. Okay. Yes, uh, this is the wall that has followed me since I was mm. in secondary school. Uh. That's so beautiful. And this is a chair. Price. 12 bucks. Zero! <laughs> <laughs> This one actually hey, I really gotta give her a round of applause <laughs> for all the things that she's gotten for free, okay? This one was not from Carousel. Picked it up from the trash. Hey, are you not worried that they might be very dirty or I like... I wash it down and then I detool everything and uh, some of the wood was uh -huh. loose so I yeah. restrung a lot of it. It's, it's come out a little bit but I restrung. See all these? Mm -hmm. It's because it was loose and then I just tied it back up. It's so rare for young people these days to have this kind of time and energy to restring old it's, wooden chairs. It's fun. I would do it more if I had more time. But oh. yes. Wow. Alright, lights was yeah. Full on camping vibes, yeah. I yes. love it. Sometimes I pull the chairs out and then I have a wooden crate, right? And have like wine with my friends in the room. It's nice. That's so nice. But you mentioned, you know, you had a partner and you guys bought a house together previously. Mm hmm. Then when you split up, what happened to the house? Well, I, we, we, he's a great person. I have a lot of respect for him. And uh, we split up because of compatibility. So oh. actually, still on good terms. Mm. And we kind of always have been. I feel like I am thankful for having had this person in my life still. And I'm very grateful that even though the relationship ended, right, I, I know that we still respect each other and that there's still a degree of care. Like I would care about him and if there, anything happened to him, I also would want to know. We were together since 
uni, four years with one year break in between. And I think after you get back together from a breakup, mm. right? After a breakup, you feel like that's it already. Right. If you okay. were gonna break up again, then why did you get back together mm. in the first place, right? Mm. But because it was a uni relationship, my perspective was different. Mm. And I felt like we couldn't grow together down the same path. Happy for him now, he's like moved on, ah. uh, has a new girlfriend, I think mm. they moved, I'm not sure, I think they moved in together, but happy for him. Like any good thing that comes his way, right, I would be so happy for him. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Yes. But I hope the journey has been good for you so far. And I really feel, because a lot of people also criticise to say that renting is a waste of money. It's a very common uh, point that people say. Right. But it has been the best money I've ever spent on myself and I'm a very, very thrifty person. Mm, you are. If it was money that went towards protecting myself and making my life a lot more worthwhile, then mm. it was money well spent. It's do you like bring people back home? If I do go on dates, right, and if I like the person and if they are very, very nice and not weird and they, they're not like... If they don't have bad intentions, you yeah. know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if, they, if they actually like me, then uh -huh. sure, you can come back, we can chill here and like... That's why I got two chairs, bring out wine. Oh. Oh, like, that's so nice. Yeah. Would your housemates be okay with that though? Well, my housemate, um, she's very chill with it. And her partner comes over all the time also. We hang out together, we go out for meals together. <laughs> it's the loveliest thing. When we go out together, it feels like a family dinner. It feels so close and very, very precious to me. I just walked down and I was thinking to myself, wow, I'm so lucky to be able to do this. I have a nice street to walk home, a nice house to come back to. Mm. And I just felt like this is enough. Like That's so positive, honestly. <laughs> like I'm so proud of you for hey, thank you. having worked hard enough to afford your own rent. Yeah. And like coming back to a space that you created literally with your own hands. You it's strung true. this chair that you were sitting on, like everything, you, you devised it, you decorated the room yourself. It's true. It's honestly so nice yeah. to see. I think sometimes people People focus on hmm. big material things like buying branded things. Oh, oh shit, that's me. Second hand. Ah. No, no shit. And it's really just a personal preference. That's fine. Mm. But I think I found a lot of joy in just simplicity. Yeah, and I think this episode with Chow brings me back. Like you know, makes me humble and really oh, and like go back to the simple things. Like not everything has to be bought. You yeah. don't need to spend big money on mm. furniture. I think that's very important. Mm. You know what? Thank you, Chow, for showing no. us your room. Thank and your you. House is amazing. Thank you. For for coming yeah. to chat. And you guys support her, okay, on 987 weekend shows, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Well, you know what time. Of course, thank my fellow radio DJ. Yes, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.